All right, I want to find the area bounded between these two quadratic functions. I don't know exactly what the graph looks like, but basically I have one parabola opening up, one parabola opening down, and I'm trying to find the area that's bounded by those two. So to do that, I'm going to find uh, I'm going to integrate the top function minus the bottom function and I need to find these intersection points so I know what my bounds should be on that integral. To find the intersection points, I set the two curves equal to each other. I force them to both be true at the same time then solve for x. I should get two solutions um, if, if there actually is an area bounded by these two functions. So let's set them equal to each other. And now I want to solve for x. I've got a quadratic equation. I want to get all the x's on one side, see if I can factor. If I can't factor, I'll probably use something like the quadratic formula or the quadratic algorithm to figure out the intersection points, but I'm hoping it will factor. So I'm going to move everything over to the left, add x squared to both sides, subtract 2x, subtract 4, and on the right you've got 0. I, I see I can divide both sides by 2 to simplify this. Now I need two numbers that multiply to negative 2 and add to negative 1 if I can factor. So. I see that I can do that by choosing negative 2 and positive 1. Now if I multiply this out, the two middle terms will be negative 2x and plus 1x. They'll combine to a negative x. All right, then I'll use the property that if you have two numbers multiplied together equaling 0, either the left one is 0 or the right one is 0. If the left one is 0, that means x equals 2. And if the right one is 0, x is negative 1. So we know where this is happening. It doesn't look quite like this. y equals x squared is easy. Um, the other one was a little harder to think about. But I know it will intersect at negative 1 and at positive 2. So it looks something like this. I'm not trying to get a perfect picture, but this is the basic idea of what's happening. So now I integrate the top function minus the bottom function. top is the one that's opening down. And then the one that's on the bottom is the y equals x squared. I know I need to integrate from negative 1 to 2. And now it's a matter of just doing some algebra, finding antiderivative and plugging in the bounds. So I'll run through that real quick. I'm using the power rule on each term here. Then remember I'm plugging in the top bound into all of this, and then minus, and plug in the, the bottom bound into all of it. When I plug in the top bound, 2 cubed is 8 times 2 is 16.
plug in negative 1. Negative 1 cubed is negative 1, so I'm getting a positive 2 thirds here. I can simplify if I want to. I'll go ahead and do that. I know this is 12, and I want to interpret that in thirds. So that's 36 thirds. Then I got a two thirds and a minus three. So minus three and thirds is minus nine thirds. Here I'm getting negative seven thirds, so I need to add that. Came out to a nice whole number. I did not expect that. Um, you can go through and check my math and make sure that I did all the details correct. I may be off, so please check it. Feel free to ask me about your answer if it's a little different.